Hello, this is Campbell Tutorial. Today video, we're going to scrap eBay website in Eclipse. After that, we're going to implement in Android app. For very beginning, let's go ahead and launch the browser. This is the home page and I will choose one of these products and go to its detail page. And now I'm gonna scrap this page. So I'm gonna copy this URL and let's go back to the Eclipse. And I'm gonna create a new document object to start a document DOM. And I'm gonna pass the URL inside that and set the timeout in the 6 seconds. And here we have to throw an exception. So let's go back to the browser and we're gonna inspect the element just right click and go to inspect or we can hold the shortcut key ctrl shift i firstly i'm gonna extract this image url and we can extract this data from the image element we can see here is the id so that we can use the id to find this element right now i'm going to copy that then we're gonna create a new element and name it as image and here we're gonna use the document object to extract it by CSS selector then I'm gonna pass the ID of image element in this area we have to import the elements class from the JSON library and then I'm gonna print test the value And over here, we're gonna get the URL from the SOC attribute. Here, we're gonna call the method attribute and place the attribute name. So let's run this. Okay, right now we can extract the URL link. So let's copy the URL link and paste it into the browser. Now we can see the image. So it means that it is correct. Next, we're gonna scrap the title of the product. And this one. And this title located inside the H1 element. And this element have the ID. So I will use this ID instead of finding element by class. Because the ID is specific than find element by class. So let's go back to the Eclipse. And then I'm going to create a new element to select the title and paste the ID in here. Now we're gonna print out. And over here I don't want the title have this text, the details about. So I'm gonna replace the text to the empty string. And then run it. Now we got the title. After that, I'm gonna extract the product price value. And the price value is inside this element that have the ID. So I'm gonna copy this ID and we're gonna create another element. And inside this element, we want the price in here. And this element also contain the raw number this is good for us if we want the number, but now I'm just want the text and value instead. And right now, in this element also containing ID, so I'm gonna copy that. It is okay if we don't want to put the previous ID in here. After that, we're going to print out. Okay, now we get it price. And after that, let's go to extract the product location. In here, the location is located inside this element that have the ID. So let's copy this ID. Then we're gonna create a new element. And paste this selector ID. Next, let's go inside that element and we will see this span element that have the specific attribute so we can select the element by this attribute 
and over here we're going to place the selector by the attribute so let's print it out now we get the locations three location in here and then we're going to scrap the payment methods we can see here inside this element there are five img elements which represent as the payment methods and each element have the attribute value of the payment we can extract the value from this attribute or this attribute easily so let's go ahead copy this id and go back to the eclipse then create a new element then the selector i'm gonna place the id and inside that element i'm gonna find all children that have only img elements and then i'm going to loop all these elements then store it into the array list as the string and here we have to import the class of the JSON. now let's add into the array list and we're going to get from attribute and over here um, we'll use the attribute title after that let's print out and check it's correct or not and this time we're going to scrap the value of the rating product and we're going to inspect element in this place over here we can see that the rate value is inside this element and have the class name so I want a specific elements because the class can have a many so I'm going to reference the specific elements by this ID instead now let's create a new element and place the ID then I'm going to copy this class name and paste it over here now we extract the rating elements and then I'm going to extract it as the text and before we finish scrapping this page I'm going to scrap the product conditions one more as you can see here inside this element we have a hidden text so we're gonna scrap the text and concave both elements inside that so I'm going to copy this one first and let's go back to the Eclipse and then I'm going to create a new element and name it as condition one and I'm going to select the ID Then I'm going to create another element and name it as condition2 and I'm going to place the ID inside here then I'm going to combine this text into the one string now we can see here in the console we have finished all this uh, scrapping data and for the next video we're going to use this code inside the android applications